Far too many railway lines in Britain this century have gone from looking like this to this. These remains of Penistone Station in Yorkshire were on the former Great Central Line from Sheffield to Manchester. And this is how it looked after closure, but before track lifting had begun. For the last 10 years of its life, it carried only freight and used the unique 1500 volt DC system and these rather boxy Class 76 electric locomotives. This train is seen heading westbound through Dunford Bridge Station. It had just emerged from this, the east end of the famous Woodhead Tunnel, and through the station on the now abandoned track beds as seen here. The train had been heading east. Today the national grid have taken over the tunnel and these narrow gauge lines have been laid on part of the station yard area. Otherwise the site of Dunford Bridge Station has been abandoned. This class 76 has just emerged from the east end of the Woodhead Tunnel. The picture was taken in the late 1970s. At the other end of the tunnel was Woodhead Station. These trains are heading west. On the left of the picture, the twin portals of the old tunnel closed upon electrification of the line in 1954 can be seen. Today, hill walkers use much of the track bed across this picturesque part of the Pennines. Coal trains climbing towards Silkston Junction from Wath used to have two engines at the front and two at the rear. A wide angle shot showing the lines from Wath and Barnsley as they met at Silkston. The date 1980. Today the Wath line is totally overgrown and the Barnsley line has been singled and carries sprinter trains only. A small reminder of the DC electrification. Back in 1980, this class 45 was heading towards the junction from Barnsley. And from the inside of a DMU travelling in the opposite direction, this is all that remains of the junction today. Back in the 1970s again, this mineral train was heading east at Thirlstone. The same location in 1995, and it's hard now to see where the line was. In 1984, the line between Tunbridge Wells and Eridge closed. From this Eridge-bound train, we can see some of the features of the line. 